Folate is one of the most important vitamins. You will see it everywhere in the clinical practice and they will commonly ask about it in the exam. You will have to know the symptoms of folate deficiency and the most common causes. And especially the causes because they will frequently ask about it and you will see it everywhere in the clinical practice. The symptoms of folate deficiency is the patient would develop megaloblastic anemia. So look for the anemia symptoms like easily tiredness, shortness of breath, easily fatigue, muscle weakness, numbness around the hands or fingers, and maybe a problem with the vision. Once the diagnosis of megaloblastic anemia is made, we have to look for the causes. And to remember the causes, remember a folic drop. Alcoholism, because it interferes with the absorption of folate. Folic acid antagonists, and these are the antibiotics TMP and SMX. They basically folate inhibitors and they inhibit the folate synthesis in the bacteria, but, but this can also affect the body. Oral contraceptive pills, low diet intake, and this is especially for people who have some selective diet, such as vegans. Giardia infection, and this point is very important for exams. Remember, anything that is unique to one specific infection or specific antibiotic, you will have it in the exam. So when this infection alone can cause folate deficiency, it is very likely that you will be asked about it. Celiac Pro, Dilantin, which is an anti-epileptic medication. It's basically phenytoin. And being old of age, older people will have more risk of developing folate deficiency. As we said, if you're in the clinical practice and you see a patient developing the symptoms of folate deficiency, think of these factors. And in the exams, you will have a scenario with one of these in the options. Use the link below to get access to the full mnemonics course. In this course, we will discuss all the important high yield topics that we see everywhere in the clinical practice. These topics are especially important for healthcare providers. We cover topics like the treatment of acute heart failure, tension pneumothorax, and other